Well, it's Christmas Eve, and around our house, that means it's time to make the chili. I've had the beans soaking overnight. We've got some black beans in this pot, and in this one, we have some small red beans. This is what my mother traditionally made our chili with, so I always make a pot of that. Um, but I've started adding some black beans that I'll make some different kind of chili with. So, uh... We'll show you later what the finished products are like on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, ho ho. Time to make the chili. I've got the beans on cooking. Uh, they've been cooking for probably a couple hours now. So now it's time to uh, start making the, the chili part. Uh, I always use frozen, I don't always use, but I like using frozen. Um, frozen onions just because they're quick and easy. I cut these up last fall and so it's really easy just to grab a few and throw them in the pan. Start with the onions, get them a little bit sauteed. I've got grass-fed beef that I always throw them in a baggie when I put them in the refrigerator to defrost so I don't get blood all over my meat drawer. Handy little tip for you. It's not quite unfrozen, so I'm going to stick it in the microwave for a minute and nuke it. All right, those onions are about done. some hamburger in there. We get this uh, grass-fed beef from our neighbor. She grows good cows. If you can't tell, I'm a pretty messy cook. I usually have stuff everywhere in front of them. Oh, you might notice I'm using a uh, cast iron skillet here. This is something that I picked up from my mother. It's just something she always did, and I kind of follow the tradition. This little tool for uh, smooshing up my my hamburger. Because when I do my uh, actually hamburger for any kind of dish, I like my hamburger chunks to be small. You know what I need right now? A mimosa. That's what I need. You know, if this were a good video, a mimosa would magically appear in my hand. Hey, I just thought of something. I'm not feeling the love of cutting up a bunch of onion today. So, do we have a better onion thing than that grater? The, uh, we have that little, little one we can use. Does that work very good with that? No. Sorry. Well, then we're going to have to, either you're going to have to do it or we're going to have to use mechanical, because I'm not going to sit here and grate up that cheese like that today. Oh, cheese. Yeah, I got something for cheese. You said onions. I don't think I said onions. You did say onions. <laughs> it's on, 
It's on the thing. I can play it back. Be careful. It might bite your ass. It might be out of the All right, got that hamburger all cooked. Time to uh, put the seasonings in. We're going a little off tradition this year. My mother always insisted that you had to use McCormick's, but uh, you know, life is rough and times are hard, so I'm using Kroger brand. My mother's probably looking down from heaven, shaking her finger at me. I also don't cook by measurements. I just throw some in until I think it looks good. That's actually the way that my mother taught me to cook chili. I asked her how much chili powder, and she said, well, you just put some in until it looks right, and then you can taste it, see if it tastes right. Okay. Grandma Pete cooking lessons. So I asked my sisters last night if they knew how our Christmas Eve chili tradition got started. I always assumed it was something from, you know, my mother's childhood or something like that. Come to find out, it was my, my oldest sister when she got married, and I don't know the exact tale, but apparently her husband said something about wanting chili, and so, my mom made chili for Christmas Eve when we all got together because we always used to all get together of course on Christmas Eve and then wrap the presents and um, all of that and she started making chili and it just came a became a tradition uh, I don't remember any Christmas Eve's without chili but I must have had some because I was already probably at least 10 years old when my sister got married, so there had to have been some in my past. It's starting to look about right now. I think this year I'm going to have to do a taste test on it though, because uh, this is a... Oh, I thought it was a dark chili powder. I guess it's not just chili powder. Never mind. See, I told you I was a messy cook. I've got it all over here. Dog food. I'm sorry, what was that? Dog food. <laughs> dog food. It's true. The dogs love it when I cook, actually. Because they usually have it all over the kitchen floor, too. And by the time I'm done, then they get to come in and you know, lick up the floor. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you that Lynn comes in and licks up the floor, but he spilled the beans. Had just a little bit of a bite. The way that I like it. I don't like my things too spicy. It makes me stop breathing. Sometimes Lynn thinks that's great, but most of the time he's like, no, don't do that. Okay, all right, so now we add in some tomato paste.
Okay, the beans are done. Um, chili has been simmering here nicely for a while. It's time to start to put these puppies together. So for the traditional chili, I'm just going to add some in to the beans. And see, I, I like my chili kind of thick, so I don't have a lot of liquid in there. mixed together then we'll probably just let them simmer for a while. We still have about three hours before people come for chili so should give it a nice amount of time to blend everything together. And that's looking good. What do you think? Looks like a good chili, huh? Now for my black beans, what I'm going to do is pour off a little bit of this liquid. My balls keep hitting me in my face. It's always a hazard at Christmas time. I'm going to pour off some of that liquid because what I'm going to do I'm going to put those in here. And I'm going to blitz them up a little bit. Do you guys ever have Coney dogs at uh, um, Dairy Queen back in the day? I don't know if that was a local thing here in, here in Oregon or if they had that everywhere. Dairy Queens, but we used to get pony dogs and chili was chili on it. It didn't have like the big beans on it like this. It was more just like this. But um, I like I like the bean flavor in my chili. So what I came up with is I just take some beans and I blitz them up and then I add some of the hamburger chili stuff to it and it it gives you both of those flavors, but it gives you this kind of texture. So that's kind of what I went with. back in the pan. And add some chili to it. And yes, I am having hot dogs for Christmas Eve chili, so we're going to have chili dogs. It's kind of a new addition, but I really like chili done this way. And it's super good on hot dogs, so. I think that looks lovely. Mm, delicious. A little bit of spice. 
maybe a little bit too much spice. Oh, I'll definitely have to be eating some kind of bread or cornbread or something with that. I am pretty much a sissy when it comes to spices. So everybody else will think it's a mild chili. All right, there it is, Christmas Eve chili. Okay, so here's the layout. We got um, we got some appetizers. We got three different kinds of chili. We got cheese to go with it, sour cream, onions, some cornbread, and grilled hot dogs. Okay, from our family to yours. Merry Christmas! And when you're retired, or it's Christmas Eve, it's 5 o'clock.